Today I am placing the motor back onto my X1 Enduro. The first thing I want to show you is the motor's held in by three bolts with a nut and a washer. The first thing you have to do, whether you're taking the motor on or off, is take off the chain ring because this bolt goes in right, right through here with the bolt on this side and the nut over here. So I need this chain ring out of the way in order to and get that on or off. So um, I already made my first mistake. I put the chain ring back on. And then had to figure out later I couldn't get the motor in place. <coughs> There's four. four of these things. Okay. All right, this comes off. I, had to, I took it off already and back on a bunch of times. I don't feel like doing it again because it's a kind of a pain in the butt, but you can do it. Uh, but I think I could just leave it hang like that in order to get to that bolt. Let's head back over. Power. Don't know what that is. This one comes from the wiring harness. Connects to. Okay. One, two, three bolts. This one's for the guard. Two screws here for the guard. Um, oh. And now we have to put the chain ring back together. Let's see if it turns on, Roscoe. Oh, it needs the battery. Come on, Roscoe. Got power. Two, three, four, five, six, ludicrous. I wonder if it will turn. Roscoe, watch out. Oh, shoot.
Looks like it's working. All right, pedals. So it was the five millimeter hex for the pedal. Right there, right there, and on the other side. Last is this, the plastic guard. I think everything is back together. The uh, the gear is probably need tuned up, but. This is ludicrous. Hey, Roscoe, you forgot, you thought I left you?